Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to Ezos Empires and we are ready to cast another match from the online ladder between the top players. Today on Four Lakes, in the color green we have Lash and on the coral blue Louis MT currently sitting at the top 10, the exactly number 10 of the online ladder but if you take the smurfs away he'll be not the number 10 he'll be like way higher right and we got french in blue for louis a bossy dynasty in green for lash and this is four legs now i really like the changes they made here to four legs because back in the day these pools that you are watching right now they will be way like they will be all the way here right and these secret sites will not be here so the, there will be way more fish so these pawns will be way more relevant, which led to this map being super focused on people walling, so others can come in and put a dock in their own pond, or people trying to invade other pawns, right? So with the these pawns are still really good, you can still get a lot of food, a lot of fish from here, but they are not as relevant as they were before. When it comes to civilizations, blue MT with the French which generate villagers faster and they have upgrades cheaper and we have a Basid which can generate villagers cheaper their docks are also cheaper and they can go for multiple TCs rather easily if they go for their technology which allows them to have discounted TCs and houses so very very interesting matchup I think I never casted this matchup in this map so I'm very curious to know what will go on. I'm very curious to see how these players play this matchup. And remember guys, you can watch me play live on Twitch. Use the link in the description down below. I just recently hit the diamond rank for the first time and recently got affiliated on Twitch. So go over there and support me on Twitch as well. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Single scout opening. It has been a long time since I've seen a bubble scout opening uh, besides a ruse player you know what i'm saying so player is really shifting to one scout louis mt exploring with his scout there is fishing already happening super early three fishing boats i mean it's normal right it's not super early three boats for each player actually well done well done oh no Forestry for Louis. I, I I still sometimes don't know if forestry is really good or not. You know. Relics pretty even, very even actually. I would say. Okay, two boat, two fishing boats, in queue. Here only one, but the fourth is already out. Oh, here as well. So both players will have five boats. In a minute, making sure that they have as much food as possible. But Louis has more food right now and more gold, so perhaps he, he will age up first. Economical lead or economical numbers are the same for both players. Louis is one ahead right now. Perhaps that's already the villager lead building for the French player. And I've seen a lot recently, a lot of pro players picking up the French. I think that buff really, really helped them. Chamber of Commerce? Really? It's the first time I cast it in a long, long time. And that, that I see it in general, even on my games. People don't just don't use this. But because it's like, you have fishing. So early aggression with the knights, it's not like, it's still good, but it's not great. So you can have a lot of food and a lot of gold from the trade. You go for all the... Oh! Do the upgrade from the docks count? Can it give a free trader? I think so. That would be great, actually. Alright, well done. I think it's a good strategy from Louis. And Culture Wing from Lash. Making it possible to get upgrades cheaper by 20%. Let's go. Yeah, okay, there is no 
because with the other wings with the military or trade wing you spawn units as well so maybe in the culture wing you you could gain an immediate bonus but no it's just like uh, you pay less for your upgrades and there we go chamber of commerce coming online okay will louis build like a market here and then trade with that market it seems a, a good trade he could trade with this market but i think that will not be very valuable you know what i'm saying oh one galley coming out where it's not here oh you, ca you can see the walls coming in oh louis infiltrated lashes pond lash did not notice he's walling right now and a galley is coming out here there you go <laughs> the fishing army of lash being targeted by the single galley from louis Good micro, saving the low health boat. <laughs> Continue the aggression. Great aggression on the water by Louis. Going for naval arrow slits on this dock. Yeah. Making sure that that dock will be up for a long time. Allowing, annoying lashes. Oh, but Lash does the same. He infiltrates his own dock into Louis' pond, but Louis is already doing damage. While Lash still needs to start doing it. No, Badala comes ready to defend. That counters the archer ship from Louis. And I see a trader over there. I want to see how much that guy is carrying back home. And uh, it's directly from the Chamber of Commerce, so no market down here. Oh, and that's a... Dao. Uh, oh, but Galley ready to defend. 49 gold. Alright, you know. It's it's good. It's like an extra villager. Oh, demo ship ready to take down the dock. But there is an outpost being... Oh, no, it's a house. Bro, I really thought it was an outpost being in the back. To make sure that that dock is safe, nice and protected. Oh. Lash investing heavily on this pond really wants to shut down Louis's economy because soon or right now Louis has a knight on the field and not only will he be able to continue the aggression on water boom demo ship takes that bagala down he will also be able to apply a lot of pressure on the land and that's something that I think Lash cannot do right now as the Vasid is going for some spears to defend but He'll be defending. Louis will be applying pressure on two fronts. So I think Louis is better in this situation. Oh, wait. Oh, you can trade with the docks? That's true, I forgot about it. But you can. So, are they carrying more gold now? I can see. Oh no, they're both empty. No, no, no. Here we go. No, it's the 49. Okay. Oh, great defense. Louis defends on the water at home. And he's fishing right now. Oh, but wait. Did he lost? He lost the galley. Or is he in... No, the galleys cannot go inside. And I thought the 49 gold was directly from the Chamber of Commerce. But it's already from the dock. I mean, it's a nice strategy. It's a good strategy. It's like simple. He's not making a lot of traders. He just... Hey. I can do this bonus, I'm gonna do it. It's not like, oh, I'm going crazy on it and I'm winning the game because of it. No, it will just help me be in a better position. This villager will be looking to wall because Louis transit to the, the other pond. He, he doesn't want Lash to come here and meddle with it again. Oh, nice. Villager, villager snipe. Louis already destroyed four economical units for Lash. Now getting rid of Lash's dock in his own pond. And he's getting more fish. But I know because the dock has the, nav the naval arrow slits. So Lash boats cannot destroy it easily. 
Oh, that's true. Let me see. He did not win for that. I want to see if he goes for this, he gains a free trader. I believe so. It would make sense so, but it might not. It's AOE 4, you know? Sometimes it surprises you. Oh, GG gets called because the knight was on the villagers. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, comment down below, and I see you next one. Chamber of Commerce on the water map. Let's go. See you soon.